Hey everybody, do right back at it again with an update on the pre-orders that are over on Void Interactive's website. So I thought that I would just go over them really quick with you guys just to see what's new. So we already know what the full game is. Beta Access actually has an explanation, so let's look at it. With the Beta Access, you will be one of the first people to experience what... Oh, this is a typo right there. What it's like to play ready or not. There will be access to at least three of the 12 plus playable levels. And players will be able to trial them in our PvP and cooperative modes. And this is for beta access in June of 2020. The alpha access, let's see what that says. You will be one of the first people to experience ready or not's gameplay and features. This is access to a stage that will likely still have some bugs and little quirks. But will offer an experience indicative of the final product. Supporters with an exclusive alpha access will play under NDA. Yay. Those wishing to broadcast the game will require express written permission from Void Interactive. I don't know, an alpha access to a lot of people and they're all going to receive NDAs. I feel like it's just going to leak. Like, what's the point of the NDA? But I don't know. It's just, it's just my thoughts. All right, the FBI HRT pack, which I know that it's cosmetic, but let's see what it says. Access to the elite FBI hostage rescue team character, complete with two additional weapon skins. An FBI branded wide view ballistic shields. Oh, cool. And a unique CBRN gas mask for chemical chemical operations. What's a CBRN gas man? Okay, I think it's I think it's that. I think I don't know. Alright, so this one is new. Free first expansion. The original was just 25% off, which I thought was just like, okay, well, meh. I mean, at least this one's free. Well, let, let's read what it says. Ready or Not's first expansion will be free to all supporter edition purchasers, past and present. Existing buyers will be automatically upgraded. Expansions will be focused on providing an entirely unique experience elsewhere in the world. Providing players with entirely new mechanics. Is there finally going to be melee, levels, weapons, and systems? Alright, so that's interesting. I wonder what the new mechanics are going to be. I really hope it's going to be melee, but anyways. And then here's another new thing that's been added. Digital copy of the original Ready or Not soundtrack. Now that is pretty cool. I would like to use those for my videos. And there's also a sample that you can listen to if you go over to um, Dan Liston's SoundCloud, which I'll have a link in the description if you want to sample that soundtrack. There's only three soundtracks if I remember correctly. On his SoundCloud. And then the next one is listing in game credits. That is actually pretty cool. It's kind of like I'm supporting them on Kickstarter and I'll get like my names in the credits because because I supported them. Now the supporting actually has sort of a meaning to it. Like, hey, you supported our game. We're going to put your name in the credits. That's pretty cool. So every time that I look at the credits, I'll see my gamer tag or my name in it. And then the last one is for the mouse pad, but it was sold out. Yeah, so already a thousand people bought it like about, let's say, two days after this released, I think. And that was actually pretty interesting that that happened because uh, there was a lot of people that were complaining that um, that 120 price tag was pretty high up there and there wasn't a whole lot of stuff. But now that this is all here is there, is this still worth it for you guys i mean i'm still not gonna buy it till the end of the month because you know Dureg is poor but um this actually looks a little more enticing i definitely like that soundtrack i want to i want to listen to it i want to use it in my videos listening in the game credits that's actually pretty cool i mean i've been like covering this game for a very long time and to see my name in there would be so whew, i think that seems cool i still want to know how expensive these expansion packs are going to be because if they're maybe like 10 to 15 bucks then i could chill out 10 to 15 bucks and they have a lot of content in them because they do say providing players with entirely new mechanics so i'm hoping melee and a couple of other things maybe vaulting i don't know levels and weapons and, and systems what does systems mean I don't know. So that is the new revamped supporter edition. It's definitely better than the previous one. It kind of sucks that people can't get a mouse pad, but I mean, I don't need one because I already have one. I mean, if I was to get one, I'd probably just give it away on my channel unless it looked better than mine because there's no actual picture of what these mouse pads are going to look like. They're going to be like completely random with different types of pictures on them. It's kind of like a Easter egg. You like pop it open and you're not going to know what's inside of it. So it's going to be like a completely different picture from what I had. At least I think. I'll take my words for it, but I'm just saying. Now, before I end the video i am going to talk about the system requirements that were released over on their website too here is the minimum and here is the recommended and i seem to have almost everything that they recommend and the minimum these are actually some pretty good requirements so yeah i'm i'm good on these requirements i'm like really good so yeah this is the system requirements. I thought I'd just make this quick update video to let you guys know that what's going on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people already know about this, but fuck it, I would do it anyway. Well, thanks everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.